Amanda Eller, a physical therapist who was lost on a hike in Maui, telling her story tonight for the first time since she was found after going missing for 17 days. Breaking news, a woman missing in Maui has been found alive. The news just coming in, Amanda Eller was last seen more than two weeks ago, and at this hour, she's being taken by helicopter to the hospital. A woman in Hawaii who was missing for 17 days after going for what was supposed to be a short hike. It did come down to life and death, and I had to choose and I chose life. In the heart of the Pacific Ocean, on the island of Maui, a tale of survival unfolded that captured the world's attention. A tale that speaks to the resilience of the human spirit, the power of hope, and the strength of community. This is the story of Amanda Eller. Eller's passion for holistic health and wellness led her to become a yoga instructor and then a doctor of physical therapy. She moved to Maui, Hawaii, where she worked as a physical therapist and yoga teacher. She was known for her love of nature and often spent her free time exploring the beautiful landscapes of the islands. Before her disappearance, Eller was described as a vibrant and healthy woman who loved the outdoors. She lived a lifestyle that was in tune with nature. She was also known for her spiritual beliefs, often seeking solace and peace in the natural world around her. On her website, she describes her life philosophy as follows. The body and its interconnected systems want to work in harmony. In its natural state, that's exactly what it does. It's a self-regulating, autonomous system that we can impact through injury, trauma, or negative emotional experience. When we get injured or have a pain that is unaddressed within the body, the system will compensate. Uncorrected, this can lead to a cascade of compensations that work to keep the body in movement, even though it becomes less functional over time. Long-term effects of a compensated body system include symptoms of chronic pain, inflammation, malalignment, lipping, and weakness, just to name a few. In order to heal the body, we must be willing to take a look at the bigger picture of what's happening within the system. This includes compensatory mechanisms, original injury, and other facets of healing that may be unaddressed. If these details are unaddressed, it can lead to a feeling of being stuck and in pain. The Makawa Forest Reserve a vast expanse of lush greenery, home to a myriad of wildlife and a network of trails that weave through the dense undergrowth. It was here that Amanda set out for what was supposed to be a short hike. The Makawa Forest Reserve is a beautiful expanse of preserved woodlands located on the eastern side of Maui. It covers over 2,000 acres and offers a rich and diverse landscape for exploration. The reserve is home to a variety of indigenous flora, including cooked pines, ferns, and rainbow eucalyptus trees, whose sweet, minty scent fills the air. The Makawa Forest Reserve is not just a place for exploration, but also a place for conservation. Visitors are encouraged to stay on the marked trails and avoid stepping on the plants along the edges. Amanda decided to try a new path, as many avid hikers do, and stop to meditate and take a nap. When she woke up, she was disoriented. She had strayed from the familiar path and was now lost in the dense forest. But as the hours passed, Amanda didn't return. Her car was found in the parking lot, and her wallet and phone was still inside. Amanda Eller, 10, 11 a.m. last Wednesday. She goes to a store wearing flip-flops, buys items for a Mother's Day gift. 10, 21, she mails the gift at the post office. That is the last image we have of her. Now, at some point, she drove to the Makawao Forest Reserve. Her locked car was found the next day when she was reported missing. Inside, the same flip-flops, her purse and phone, the keys hidden under the front tire. A massive search operation was launched. Hundreds of volunteers, helicopters, drones, all scouring the jungle and streams for any sign of Amanda. The search gained national attention, but days turned into weeks with no sign of her. The search continues for a hiker who went missing on Maui. The parents of Amanda Eller are now offering a $10,000 reward for any information leading to her safe return, according to the Maui News. She was believed to be hiking Wednesday on a trail in the Makuwao Forest Reserve around 12 miles from her home, according to CBS Honolulu affiliate KGMB. She was reported missing Thursday when she didn't return home. Dozens of first responders searched the area on foot and by air for that 35-year-old. I'm Ken Molestina for WJZ.com. Amanda was not prepared for a long stay in the wilderness. She was wearing only a tank top and capri-style yoga pants. She had no food, no water, no shelter. She was truly alone. 
Her family and friends held on to hope, refusing to give up. I think they've done everything they, that they know they can do, and I'm, I'm satisfied with that. But hundreds of volunteers continue to look for her. We don't know if it's just a hiking injury um, or if there's foul play. That's Amanda's boyfriend, Benjamin Kunkel, the last person to see her Wednesday morning. He volunteered for and passed a lie detector test. Police say he is not a suspect. And they have no evidence of foul play. I hope she's in the forest, but if someone has taken her, and we, we're not interested in you, we just want our daughter back. They know Amanda as a fighter, a survivor, and they were right. Amanda had to rely on her instincts and knowledge of the wilderness to survive. She ate guavas, random plants, and even moths. She drank water from streams, careful to choose clear water to avoid bacteria. She faced physical challenges as well. She fractured her leg and tore the meniscus in her knee after falling off a 20-foot cliff. She was swept away in a flash flood while trying to clean her shoes. Some nights, she slept in the mud and eventually even slept in a wild boar's den for the shelter and warmth. After 17 grueling days, Amanda was found. 17 days missing in a Maui jungle. No phone, no GPS, no supplies. You have a choice to make. You could sit on that rock and you can die, or you can start walking down that waterfall and choose life. She was injured, sunburned, and had lost 15 pounds, but she was alive. Amanda's story is one of determination and survival. She chose life, even when faced with the harshest of conditions. She pushed through fear and despair, driven by the will just to survive. Troy Helmer and Chris Burquist discovered Amanda Eller clinging to life on a waterfall in the Hawaiian rainforest. As soon as we saw her, it was like, oh my God, we got her, we got her. The Calvary arrived. What were to her first words? To be entirely honest with you, I don't remember because it was so incredibly overwhelming. We were all crying and screaming and laughing. Then for the first time in more than two weeks, she called her dad. It was just nothing but pure emotion. I have the most gratitude and respect and appreciation. I can't even put it into words for the people that have helped me, for the people that have prayed for me. Most of those volunteers like Chris and Troy had never met Amanda before, but now they say they feel bonded for life. After listening to Amanda's story, we are left with a profound sense of awe and respect. Awe for the indomitable spirit of a woman who refused to surrender to the harsh elements and respect for the sheer resilience of the human spirit when faced with the most daunting of challenges. Amanda's story is a stark reminder of the power of survival, hope, and resilience. It's a testament to the strength that lies within each of us, often untapped until we are pushed to our limits. In our day-to-day -day lives, we often let small problems and inconveniences bother us. We fret over traffic jams, worry about deadlines, and stress over minor disagreements. But when we are forced to stare death right in the face, as Amanda was, we realize how trivial these problems truly are. When faced with the prospect of death, Amanda chose life. She battled the elements, fought off despair, and clung on to hope, which is nothing short of inspiring. Her story reminds us of what is truly important in life. It's not the daily aggravations that define us, but our relationships, our community, and our willingness to help others. It's about the love of family, the support of friends, and the kindness of strangers. It's about the strength of a community that comes together in times of crisis, and about the power of hope that can light the way even in the darkest of times. In the grand scheme of things, it's not the day-to-day -day problems that define us, but how we respond to the challenges that life throws our way. And as Amanda Eller has shown us, with hope, resilience, and the support of a community, we can overcome even the most daunting of challenges. If you've enjoyed this content and this inspirational story, please consider like, sharing, subscribing, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new content. Thank you for watching this video from A Universe of Mystery. Stay prepared, stay safe, and stay curious.